Hi everyone, welcome to Tim's Vinyl Confessions. I'm Tim Derling, and I'm going to take a break from some of the review episodes to do a cassette episode. Love doing cassette episodes, I grew up listening to cassettes, and, and some of these are, are ones that I've had for quite a long time. So I'm going to talk about my Night Ranger cassette collection, which there's more of these here than someone might think. It's pretty easy to go on, you know, eBay or Discogs and get the first few Night Ranger albums, but the ones at the end, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm missing one, are a little tough to find, so I'll show you what my collection looks like. First album, Dawn Patrol, originally came out on Boardwalk. I've got a U.S. MCA reissue here. This typical MCA, the blue. And that's quite faded. And the next one, um, I have to thank Josh from Fans in Motion. Awesome Night Ranger podcast. You've got to check it out. Facebook, they've been a very active Facebook group. Uh, follow them on YouTube, fan, fansinmotion.com. Check them out. But uh, this cassette had confused me for many years because I knew that it was on MCA, but yeah, then this turns up, which is clearly a Canadian CBS cassette of Midnight Madness. And uh, on Epic CBS, this is what, you know, CBS cassettes looked like in Canada at the time. And, of course, you know, so Josh explained that, you know, the, the deal with Boardwalk fizzled out. It was eventually picked up by MCA in most countries. Eventually, Canada reissued this on MCA, but this this threw me for a loop. Like, did somebody, you know, is somebody pranking me with this? But I see this tape a fair bit. A matter of fact, I've got the record on Epic as well. So, good to have that cleared up. Just one more reason to uh, follow fans in motion. Third album, first one I got... Um, I think it's definitely one of the best. Seven Wishes, 1985. This is a U.S. cassette, um, Columbia House cassette. You can see right there, it says CRC. So, and the tape looks a little bit different. That's not what an MCA cassette would look like. Other than that, it's got uh, band photo, band photos. All the lyrics and credits in minuscule print. What a great, great album. Next one, uh, I found this actual cassette. I've had different ones, but this one that I've got now, I found uh, at a, uh, I think it was, at Salvation Army for 20 cents. So I thought I'd rescue it. Uh, it's on an older road trip episode when Marley and I went to Portland. Big life. And um, another thing I didn't know until talking to Josh is that Big Life actually has two album covers. So if you've got this album, check, check out the album. It's the same cover, except some versions have more stuff in the background. Didn't know that. So this is a U.S. MCA cassette. Now, the Canadian one is completely blue. Um, more like more like this. But, um, yeah, they went with a purplish look for this one. And like some of the records, the, the album's called Big Life. But the cassette itself says The Big Life. So, a little bit of a mystery there. And again, it's got all the lyrics and credits. Next one is the album that I went on The Contrarians and argued as my favorite Night Ranger album. And I still think that's pretty accurate. I really, really enjoy this album, Man in Motion from 1988. With a little bit of a variant, more of a purple album cover than what the record or CD looks like. This is Hugh Syme artwork. And there's the cassette. That's more what the uh, actual album looks like. Photo of the group. It's a four-piece at this point, and all the lyrics. A lot easier to read because there's more panels. I've got something else that uh, is associated with the Man in Motion album. Shout out Jeff Witcher from Jeff Witcher's Vinyl Destination. He sent me this, and it's still the only cassette single I've got that looks like this. It's for I Did It For Love. Same band shot that's inside the album. This is U.S., uh, and it's... Got the A and B sides on both sides of the cassette. And instead of being in a slip case, like most cassette singles were, this one actually came in, you know, an actual cassette case, which probably cost more. So I could see why they changed formats. It's the only, it's the only Night Ranger cassette single that I know of because they broke up just around the time that, uh, you know, cassette singles started becoming really popular in the late 80s. 
1989, the band had kind of already, you know, split or were on the verge of splitting. Uh, MCA put out this greatest hits. Now this cassette has 10 songs on it. CD has 12. Um, all previously released stuff, but still one of my favorite greatest hits compilations. And there haven't been much to replace it. Um, you know, this is a band that's deserving of a box set or at least a two CD comp, uh, you know, compilation. There's never been anything like that, but um, you know, this one's tough to beat. Just a little bit of credits inside there. And um, so, it, you know, Man in Motion didn't do well, even though it was a great album. And, uh, you know, that was kind of the end of the, the line for them. But it did do well in Japan, where they typically did, you know, have a pretty good following. And they actually put out a laser disc, like a, you know, a video of a concert. Now, what MCA did in the States is just take the audio and put that out sometime in uh, later 1990 as live in Japan. I remember just coming across this in the store, not even knowing that it was coming out or anything. So, yeah. And this is pretty typical of what MCA cassettes looked like in 1990. A good concert. I've never seen the Laserdisc show. Some photos of the band. And just the song credits. Um, a lot of stuff for Man in Motion on here because it was the Man in Motion tour, which is fine with me. Now, at this point, it gets quite a bit harder to find uh, Night Ranger cassettes. So, as we know, you know, the band split up for quite a few years, but... Um, Brad Gillis, Kelly Kagi, and Gary Moon formed a version of Night Ranger. And this is more demos floating around than made the album, but in 1995 they put out a great album, I think, called Beating Off the Mojo. Not very easy to find on cassette. This is actually an unopened copy. And like the CD I have, it's on Drive Entertainment. But really good album, worth seeking out. Um, the songs that Gary sings don't sound like Night Ranger, the songs that Kelly sings do, but it's all good. It's all a really, really good album. Then, of course, the original band got together, and this album came out, Neverland. This is an unopened U.S. cassette on Sony. Now, they put out another album uh, before Alan Fitzgerald left in 98 called Seven. That came out on cassette, and as far as I know, that's the last Night Ranger album to come out on cassette. And it's really, really hard to find. It's currently on my Discogs want list. There's about six or seven people ahead of me. And searching for this album on eBay is really frustrating because when you type in Night Ranger 7, inevitably all you get is this. So I'm um, still trying to find the 7 album on cassette. And if I do, I'll probably do an update. And since this is probably the only place that I'll, you know, make sense to talk about these, Kind of as a bonus, I'll talk about another couple of cassettes. Of course, the biggest thing that happened in the Night Ranger camp, you know, in the years that they were broken up, is that Jack Blades joined this little band, Damn Yankees. This is a Canadian copy of their first album on Warner Brothers. And until I got the cassette and the CD out, I didn't realize that the photo of this the band is mirror, is, is flipped compared to what it is on the CD and actually on the vinyl. So, the things that you learn by getting all the formats out. And there's no lyrics inside this, but all the credits and, uh, you know, photo collage. And then they only did two albums. And in 1992, Don't Tread. This is also a Canadian cassette on Warner Brothers. This one does have all the lyrics. So there you go. Um, am I missing anything? I don't think that I am, other than variants of some of the albums I've already showed you. And once again, you know, obviously Night Ranger, the official page is nightranger.com. You can follow them on all the socials. But if you love talking about the band, I definitely recommend checking out Fans in Motion. It's the podcast you didn't know you needed. So a uh, shout out to all those people that keep that running over there. I really look forward to, uh, you know, watching the new episodes, catching up on the old ones. And I'll be honest with you, it's reignited uh, my passion for this band, because I've always liked Night Ranger, like since the late 80s when I got into them. So uh, this has kind of, you know, really gotten me back into them. As a matter of fact, it's the reason that I now have these, because uh, I was, you said, you know, I really got to get the rest of the cassettes. So I'm still looking for seven. Uh, don't forget, Tim's Vinyl Confessions merchandise, uh, t-shirts, hoodies, um, notebooks, stickers, pillows, yes, pillows, uh, coffee mugs, it's all at TeePublic, 
Look for Tim's Vinyl Confessions or TVC. You'll find all the designs on there. And uh, thanks to everybody that's ordered merch so far. It, it, it helps the channel, for sure. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, you know, if you're a Night Ranger fan, I want to hear from you. You know, uh, and uh, what have you got that looks cool that, that, you know, maybe not a lot of people have. Thanks for watching this edition of Tim's Vinyl Confessions. We'll see you later.